channel today we are finally doing an updated closet tour hopefully this will answer all of your questions um, I've changed a few things um, the system that I have for the closet part of my office closet um, is still from Ikea that hasn't changed um, but I did kind of change the um, office part just to be a little more like comfy a little more cozy but also like to brighten up the space a little bit um because i spend so much time in here and i haven't been working in here as much because like my chair wasn't that comfortable and it just felt kind of dark because there's already a lot of clothes so just wanted to get that out of the way i will be behind the camera because you want to see the closet not me <laughs> as much as you love me um so i'll walk you through all of the things in here everything that i've updated where i got it from and if i can link anything a lot of things are from home goods so i may not be able to but if I can link it, it will be below. Of course, if you like beauty, fashion, style, travel, make sure you follow me, subscribe, hit the bell so you never miss a video, follow me on Instagram, and read my blog, hilolux.com. So, without any more rambling, let's get into the tour. I love it so much. Let's get into it. Also, let me know if you want more details on this face today. I could just maybe include it in a vlog or something, but this is kind of my no makeup makeup look because I'm just chilling at home so I could not be bothered to like do a beat so I basically just did like brows and a little concealer and um just lip balm the bite beauty one that I love and my little baby lashes because I literally have no lashes I'm just not a hairy person unfortunately <laughs> um so these are like my when I want to look like I don't have on lashes lashes but let me know if you're interested in that um and if not then <laughs> don't mention it okay let's get into the tour Okay, so I just wanted to sh share a few clips of the before. So this is what my closet looked before. Same IKEA setup, um, same desk. As you can see, I have an old chair there. It didn't roll and it honestly just wasn't that comfortable. Um, so we changed that. And then the rack is different as you can see here and the rug is different. So I really like this cowhide rug. We actually just moved it to the living room. And I kind of just organized again the desk a little better so it would be functional. And then my handbags are just a complete mess so I got a little more organization there. And you can see Josh is updating the chair that we bought so that it has gold base instead of a black base. And then this is where we ordered the new rack which was so beautiful um, and we just quickly put it together. It was super easy but it did not come with instructions so if you're not handy you may have an issue but we found it pretty easy. And then I found the perfect rug again at Home Goods. I really wanted to add some texture and again, brighten the space up. Um, so this rug was absolutely perfect. Okay guys, so this is the living room and then um, to that side is our bedroom and then to this side is my office closet. So if you don't know, we have a two bedroom apartment and I've just converted this bedroom into my closet office. So when you walk in, um, this is the Ikea packs system and then my desk kind of like the office side is over here so we'll go through the office part because that's kind of what I changed also let me move my coffee <laughs> okay so the desk is from Ikea and it's super slim so I like that the size is really good the chair is from a um, store called All Modern on um, online I bought it online and then we spray painted which you would have seen I'll include a little clip here we spray painted we as in Josh spray painted the um, bottom gold because the chair that I really wanted was like $700 from CB2 and this one was 150 but it didn't have the gold legs so the cream throw is from home goods and then what I added was this feathery lamp because I wanted more texture I'll show you what it looks like off so super cute. It is a Rachel Zoe lamp. She does decor now. Who knew? And I got that from 
Home Sense, which is new here. It's like it's owned by Home Goods. And then I just stacked some books under it. Um, I just liked how that looked, gave it kind of like an old world type of feel. And then here is kind of new, and this is just kind of like pretty things, but also essential things that I need every day. This little marble slab. I actually got in a PR package when I worked with the brand, but you can get those anywhere. And then I just keep like the jewelry that I wear a lot here. I keep this little Chanel powder. This stuff, I just like how it looks, but I also use it. Um, so yeah, this is just like lotion. Then this is my favorite hand lotion. I've talked about this before um, from Sakare is the name of the brand. It's hydrating hand cream. But I get it from a store in Paris every time I go. Yeah, that's it. It's the best hand cream. And then I keep my like whey um, little oil. And my two favorite perfumes, Elizabeth Arden and the NARS. And then these are just like more little lotions back there. I added these candles because again, I wanted more browns and creams. So these are all from Home Goods, but I love them. And then this one I love because it has like that, like it burns like a wood, you know, so it has that crackling sound. Love that. Um, this is just a little magazine. Dior sends these every month. And I love that this one had a melanated person on it with a fro. I just love that. It was just so pretty. I thought it'd be a great addition. And then this picture is just kind of like inspo. These are just like classic styles and they just really inspire me um like silk shirts you guys know i love button-up shirts um blazers that's zendaya i just really like her style in general um kind of like safari vibes classics black and whites i just really liked i kind of just put that together and then i keep my laptop here and it charges here and that's pretty much this space and then this is my laptop um case that i did buy from fashion file for when i travel so when i'm not traveling i just keep it there and then the mirror is from Target and that is pretty much everything and then underneath I do my makeup here as well so I wanted to keep it like clean I didn't want it to be like a beauty setup I needed it to be functional for like actually doing work so I keep my mirror underneath that is also from Target and it lights up so it's super helpful and then I keep my makeup in that little bag like my go-to everyday makeup to do my face and then that way when I travel it's already ready and then any additional makeup is all kept in here. So I have like lip products, extra um, foundations, lashes. <laughs> These are all of my nude <laughs> lipsticks, lip glosses, um, a few palettes, um, extra concealers, lip products that are not nudes, <laughs> and then um, like highlights and then extra brushes there. So that is what is here and that okay so next up um we'll go through handbags because this is also changed um this used to be against this wall it used to be over there which is a bath it was just the door to the bathroom because this is like the second bedroom and it's connected to a bathroom and i didn't use it as much but i decided it would be helpful <laughs> so i moved it over here and these are all of my handbags i'll quickly go through them but i am going to do I am gonna do an updated um, handbag collection for people that are interested in like details of everything. Um, but up there I have my Louis Vuitton key ball and um, just kind of like little clutches or like crossbody things um, that I don't wear that much. That's why it's at the top. And then I have my um, vintage gold Chanel bag, my um, red vintage flap, my Celine box bag. I have the Fendi, um, the little Fendi vintage vintage bag, the Zuka print. Um, I have my Lady Dior mini, um, my Valentino rock stud, which you would have seen in unboxing uh, already. Uh, my vintage um, classic Chanel flap in black, and then I have one in like hunter green and patent leather. I have a Chanel pink flap with silver hardware, a little mini baguette, Fendi baguette back there. That's super old. Um, a Fendi peekaboo, my new Brahmin bag that they sent me, that kindly gifted it to me and I love it, love the color. Um, the Chanel Gabrielle backpack, my Angela Roy bag that I love, Louis Vuitton can bag, the Chloe sunset bag, I think it's called. And then down here are bags that don't kind of have a category this bag is from amazon this bag is uh vintage i thrifted it in la i have this little bag from white house black market that i love my prada 
little fanny pack, my Balenciaga City that I would never get rid of, and then my new little Zara tote. And then down here is kind of the office part. So I have my printer to print like contracts and stuff like that. Um, this is my planner. This is my notebook for just ideas and then just some other little books that I use. Um, this little thing is from Target, I believe. And I just have like a stapler and just hand cream, just knickknacks, random things like little USBs for when I need to import pictures. Um, this little bag it's just full of um, receipts for all of my like luxury things if I want to resell something. Sorry, that's so dusty. But if I want to resell anything, all of like the handbags I've ever bought, everything from Fashion File, Real Real, all of those things. Again, makeup. These are laptops that are old I need to get rid of. Extra printer paper and stuff like that. And then like a little filing cabinet for business things. So when I moved um, this over here and just kind of like resetting up this area, I really wanted it to be functional and pretty. Um, so I wanted to make sure like I had room for my laptop and I could actually work. And like, you know, when I do my makeup, kind of like designating that everything goes back into that bag because I used to just do my makeup and then be makeup everywhere, then I'd have to clean it. So I would never actually use the desk as a desk. And then even for the handbag setup, making sure that I left like this space at the bottom for functionality. Like this, I want to be inspiring, but I also like need to store things. So that was the goal for this. This mirror is not new if you're wondering, and I am still looking for a mirror, but I just, I know the one I want and I just don't want to pay for it right now. So I didn't want to wait to film. This mirror is old from Ikea. They still have it, um, but I hate that it's silver, but it's just such a good mirror that there was just no real reason to get rid of it. Um, eventually when we buy a house, I want to like move it into another room. But there's a gold mirror that I love, but it's like $900, which I could buy, but I just don't want to right now because this mirror works perfectly fine. So that's that. Um, this little lamp, let me see if you can see it, is from Target. I've had it forever, they still sell it. And then this little picture, I, it still has a tag because I'm not sure what to do with it, but I think it's cute. Okay, moving on, the curtains and the rod. The rod is from Target. And then the curtains are from Home Goods. They don't go all the way to the floor, which is a little annoying, but I couldn't find any that were sheer enough, so I just went with it. And then this little ottoman, I will link below. I also found it online. I wanna say Overstock, maybe, or Wayfair. I can't remember. The rug is from Home Goods, and it was perfect. I really wanted, again, to add like texture, but also to brighten up the space. Um, you can see like this carpet, we've been here for like two or three years. So like the little stains and it's just a little rundown. So I really wanted something to like brighten up the space. So the next thing that is a new addition is this stunning rack that you guys have been asking me about. I will link it below, um, but it is from Amazon and it was perfect. Nothing was wrong with my old rack, but again, I just wasn't, that wasn't the vibe anymore. So this one has like, gold piping so it's almost kind of like industrial but also just really pretty and I love that it had a white base my old one had like a wood base so again just helps like brighten up the space this is for a video coming soon on spring essentials <laughs> um so we'll move on to the actual closet if you're new here or you haven't seen a video before I'll kind of walk through each section of the closet and kind of how I organize it Okay, so before we get into um, the system, I wanted to kind of like just share some quick facts. So this is the IKEA pack system, and I'll leave a link to just like the general homepage of the pack system, because there's a lot of different options. The one I have is the tallest, so I think you can get like five feet or six feet, and I have six feet because my um, apartment, as you can see, has really high ceiling. So I have the tallest one, and then I also have the deepest one. So you can kind of see there, like I have room to double stack um, and have like two rows of shoes, and then it makes like the clothes go in really deep, like all the way, like if you have, basically the other one is cut in half. So you can kind of see like those little holes there. Um, it would just stop at that one if it would if you didn't have the deep one um, So it just depends on your space. I knew that this was all of that this room would be used for um, So the other one does take up less space I would get back like an extra inch in this room you can also add doors to these um, And then they also come in a few different colors uh, so they come in like a light wood color like a grayish wood and then also like a dark wood so 
just FYI. Again, and then everything is customizable. So I'll show you through like all of the drawers and such, but you can choose to get glass drawers or you can get just regular wood drawers. You can get as many as you want. The price does fluctuate though. And then for these pullouts, you can customize them as well. And there's extra little things that you can get that I don't have. So you can customize that as well. And you can do all of that online. That's what I did kind of taking the measurements of the room and you can also go in the store and they can help you with it if you know all of the measurements they'll tell you with it so <laughs> now that we're done with that I'll show you what okay so here we have my shoes and this does change by season so obviously I have like ankle boots here um taller boots that can kind of like slouch over and then like my tall boots that need to stay upright and a few more boots chunky shoes and then tennis shoes and then kind of like dressier shoes and heels and then flats at the bottom. Okay, so moving on, um, the second section, those are just a few boxes just for decoration. And then these are all of my tops and I try to keep them color coordinated, um, kind of light is to darkest. Um, and again, these are just all of my kind of nice shirts. And all of my hangers are from Amazon. They're all, someone recommended these. They're all like the is that material I don't know the huggable kind um so then below this is the first pullout drawer and this is where I keep all of my accessories that I don't wear every day um so I have like little hair accessories clips um all of these are clips and then just like little costume jewelry really uh then I have my headbands because you know I love headbands and then my watches most of my watches are Michelle watches because I love them another hair bow and then a few bracelets I'm not a huge jewelry person so this drawer doesn't get used that much and then next are sunglasses now I am a sunglass person um I'll quickly go through these if you're interested so these are from forever 21 these are from Tom Ford forever 21 free people Fendi Loewe Amazon Celine, Celine, um, Forever 21, Porsche Design, Gucci, Amazon. Um, these are Porsche Design Extra Lenses. These are from ASOS, Forever 21, Forever 21, Forever 21. I'm a versatile sunglass collector. <laughs> Um, and then next is the first clear drawer and this drawer has evolved over time <laughs> um, it is kind of now my tech equipment drawer so these are all of my like cords and things that I need these are all my tripods and then this is all like just camera gear um, a flash all of my cameras extra brushes and then a few like perfumes and nail polishes so that's what's in that drawer wasn't the initial plan that's why I have this clear front but it is what it is <laughs> and then next is my kind of pajama loungewear underwear drawer socks things like that you get the gist I love pajamas so that's that drawer and then this one is more loungewear because I really like loungewear <laughs> so again just sweatpants sweatshirts stuff like that and then this drawer is kind of like t-shirts and any like skirts that are kind of wintry this will turn into like shorts for the summer though so that is section number two. Okay, next is section number three and you can see it's a lot smaller than the other one. I have my sweaters that shouldn't be hung up top um, just because of the delicate nature of the materials. And then this is my blazer section. I love blazers. They're just easy to throw on. They make me feel put together. And then kind of same thing, they are color coordinated. For me, this makes me feel like my closet is more organized and when it's visually appealing and it's more inspiring. So. Um, I'll quickly go through the blazers if you're interested. If you're not, just speed ahead. Um, this one is from Zara. This one is from ASOS. And then this one is also from Zara. It's like a tuxedo style. This one was thrifted. This is from White House Black Market. It's a suit. This is thrifted. Um, what's this one? Oh, this one is thrifted as well. Let me see if I can turn it up. This one is from Balenciaga. This one is thrifted. This one is from Rag and Bone. This one is thrifted, 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 thrifted. Zara, Zara, Chanel, 
and Tibby. This one is Tibby. So those are my blazers. Again, lots of highs and lows. <laughs> and then down here, I have this little pullout for for denim, mainly denim and leather pants. Um, and I keep my like actual pants separate. So as you can see, these are all just either leather pants or some type of denim. I won't go through them all because this video will be too long. <laughs> and then below that, I have a few pair of like shoes I don't wear as much, but they're like kind of like if I needed to be more professional <laughs> kind of shoes. And then in the summer, this section is for my flat sandals because I don't wear them that much. Uh, you know, I like chunky shoes. Okay, and next up is the last section. You can see that it is wider than that one. Again, I have more sweaters at the top and I also tried to keep those color coordinated. And then here I have my pants section. So these are mainly like dress pants, um, a few leather pants, but like actual, like, you know, like pants, not Denim, I don't have that many, but I do have a lot of dresses. So next up are all of my dresses. As you can see, I love dresses. I don't even think I could go through them all, but if I had to pick favorites, um, I would have to pick this new one from Zara. You guys saw that in the last haul. That's a little tight on my boobs right now. We're gonna work it out. Um, this blue one from Zara. This one from BCBG Max Azria. It's my favorite dress. I love it so much. And then probably this little black dress from Choosy. It just always looks cute and super flattering. And then here are skirts. You know, I love a satin <laughs> slip skirt. I have red, um, lime, yellow, tan. And then this is a little metallic skirt and a leather skirt and then lots of black skirts because I love black. <laughs> And then right below that is where I keep my belt. So again, all of this is customizable. I added this tray and this is where I just keep, oh, keep my belts, which most are thrifted or from Zara. Um, this one is a Chanel one and I still have my Gucci belt. I don't wear it as much, but I still have it. Sometimes I like it. And then this drawer is for hats and then like bag straps and just any other little bags that wouldn't go on my, um, handbag thing and then here are my workout clothes and I try to keep them like by outfit I've just bought a few new ones um, but these are kind of like outfits together and then lots of black but I'm trying to get into color guys and then down here is kind of the travel stuff so that I just keep my travel stuff ready to go so I don't have to get it together so like this is my hair one and I keep like dry shampoo and all that stuff in there that's one for my toothbrush toothpaste all that this is just like perfumes and stuff, sunscreen. But I keep all that stuff ready to go so I can just grab it. And then down here is where I have my kind of bigger bags. So I have my MCM tote, my YSL tote. Okay guys, so that is my closet. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I answered all of your questions. If you have any more, of course, leave them below. I will do my best to link everything that I can. If I don't, just let me know. Let me know in the comments. Also let me know what you wanna see next. Um, spring is practically here so if there's any specific content you want to see I do have a handbag collection coming up and a spring essentials video coming up but if there's anything let me know of course if you stuck around this long or if you're new make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification so you never miss a video follow me on Instagram at hilolux and read my blog hilolux.com as always thanks for stopping by see ya Thank you.